What's going on guys, Mike O back, and today I have a 100 card PSA reveal video. This is a bulk submission that just came back. This is actually the first submission that's come back from my new uh, Mike O's PSA grading submissions Facebook group. So if you guys want to get in, if you're interested, check out the link down below. Appreciate you guys who have gotten in to the last few submissions. Uh, this first submission is only a few of us. So I had 51 cards that I submitted, and then the other 49 were from Jay McGillicuddy, Kelvin, and Denny. So we're going to reveal the grades now. I think overall we did all right. Uh, I did really well. Um, I can't complain at all, but I sent all modern stuff. The other guys sent some older stuff, but uh, hopefully everyone's pleased. So let's uh, get started. We'll start off with Den1013, Denny. Appreciate you joining. And the 1960 Tops, Pat Summerall, got a good two. So beautiful looking card. Card is well centered. Looks uh, pretty good to me. Obviously an older card. It's got some chipping and stuff. A um, little bit surprised it's not a little higher. But uh, what can you do? I'm not an expert on the vintage stuff at all. Beautiful looking card. Looks great slabbed. And Danny, I know you're all about just getting the cards slabbed protect it and into the pc 89 upper deck for denny got an excellent to mint six definitely has some centering issues uh that i noticed but otherwise looks pretty clean and then finally denny's third card is this 1972 tops Guy lafleur near mint to mint eight awesome looking card so that's very cool A little vintage hockey action so, nice one there. Denny, I will get these out to you tomorrow. I appreciate you joining. Next up, we have Jay McGillicuddy. Uh, Jay has been doing these submissions a lot uh, between Mike Fabian and now me. So, he's got the 1999 Bowman Chrome Derek Jeter. Got a mint nine. What a nice looking card. I think there's 15 for Jay. A 1998 Bowman Chrome Jared Washburn, Mint 9. 1994 Finest, Mint 9 for Roger Clemens. Jay's hardcore into this. He, uh, he definitely follows these. He's always uh, checking out the pop reports, kind of predicting what he'll get back. This is an awesome looking card here. 1994 Pinnacle Museum Collection for Pedro Martinez. Love these cards. Just absolutely beautiful shine. I have some of the Phillies. So nice one there. Those are definitely very susceptible. The back is black. So uh, a nine is good in those. Got a 76 top Steve Grogan near mint to mint eight. Nice card there, Jay. Love the Brady. 2008 Topps Chrome Tom Brady, Gem Mint 10. Congrats on the Gem Mint. Got a little basketball action here. 1989 Fleer Reggie Lewis, near Mint to Mint 8. We've got a 1981 Topps Robert Parrish, Mint 9. Anytime, once you get into the 80s, when you can start getting nines, that's really solid. That's not something you can complain much about. You know, that's before even grading was even a thought. So, some modern stuff here. 2017 Topps Chrome Andrew Benatendi Sepia Refractor. Gem Mint 10. I'm a big fan of the Sepias. He's also got a Mike Trout. Gem Mint 10. Congrats on the 10s. Got one of the up-and-coming Red Sox 2014 Bowman draft picks. Raphael Devers, Jim Mint 10. Here's a 1996 Topps Nomar Garcia Parra, Mint 9. One of your favorites there, Jay. Frank Melzone, 1964 Topps. Beautiful-looking card near Mint to Mint 8. That's a real strong grade for an old card like that. Beautiful looking card. That's awesome. Love the 64s. Here is a 1960 Tops Pete Runnels. Excellent to mint. 6.5. Okay. 
case, I guess, is okay. Little uh, plastic hang in there, but really nice card. 6'5. And then finally for Jay, we got a Pumpsy Green. Near mint to mint 8. That's strong for a 1960 tops. Nice card. Definitely has a little bit of uh, a rough edge there, which I'm sure hurt it a little bit. But beautiful looking card. So Jay, again, those cards will be going out in the next few days. I appreciate you getting involved. Um, you've been in every submission. I know you were doing all of Mike's submissions as well. So definitely appreciate it. And uh, speaking of Eastern Connecticut sports cards, I actually have his August uh, submission, his last submission has arrived. So that should be getting to me in the next few days. So I will have another PSA reveal video in the coming days. So check back for that. Next up, we have Kelvin uh, with a big order here. He sent in, I think, 30 cards, something like that. Uh, his YouTube name is Sports Card Enthusiast. You guys should check out the channel. Give him a subscription. I'm going to link all these guys down below, so check it out. His first card is a 2017 Topps Aaron Judge 5 Tool Insert. Nice looking card. Got a Mint 9. Next up from 2017 Topps Chrome, Bryce Harper Prism Refractor Gem Mint 10. A lot of shine there. We have a 1991 Upper Deck Michael Jordan Mint 9. Classic card. Very cool. I remember when that came out. That was uh, one of those things everyone was chasing. The Michael Jordan rookie. Got a Tom Brady from 27, uh, 2007 Bowman Chrome. That's a Gem Mint 10. So that is pretty damn cool. Anytime you can get a Brady Gem Mint 10, that's solid. Especially when you start getting into the 2000s got a 1998 Fleer Ultra Peyton Manning rookie card gem mint 10 can't do any better than that that's for sure so congrats Kelvin on that here's another awesome one 2011 Topps Heritage Miners Mike Trout gem mint 10 beautiful looking card so Kelvin did very well here's another strong one 2005 Tops, Aaron Rodgers, GM Mint 10. Beautiful looking card. That is very cool. And uh, when I start looking at these things coming in, it just starts popping in my head all these things I want to add to my collection and buy. Um, so we'll see. Maybe at some point. 2010 Tops, Montana, Brady, Gridiron Lineage, GM Mint 10. Nice card. Two of the best. Be kind of cool if they were throwing the ball instead of getting ready to hand it off, but what are you going to do? 1998 Upper Deck Peyton Manning Mint 9. Man, I used to have so many Manning rookies back uh, in the late 90s. I wish I held on to them because they were in really good shape. I had everything just about. 93 Fleer Michael Jordan Gem Mint 10. Got a 2017 Bowman Cody Bellinger. It's Prospects Chrome Gem Mint 10. Very sweet. Love this one. 2012 Tops Allen and Ginter Bryce Harper rookie card. Something I would definitely like to pick up and add to the PC myself at some point. Gem Mint 10. So congrats on that one. There's another sweet one, 2011 Bowman Chrome Bryce Harper Prospects, Gem Mint 10. So like I said, overall we did really well in this order, so no complaints. Hopefully we do well in the November and the December submissions. Got another submission going out in less than two weeks. So if you guys want to get anything in, get it in ASAP, 98 Upper Deck. Superpowers, Michael Jordan, Mint 9. Got a 2014 Topps Heritage Aaron Judge Minor Leagues Mint 9. Here's a really cool one. 1990 Classic Ken Griffey Jr. Gem Mint 10. Man, it's got to be tough to pull a 10 in these suckers with the dark, dark edges and the fact that it's, you know, a 27-year-old card. So that's, that's awesome. Congrats on that one. 
Here's a 1970 Tops Rod Carew, excellent to mint six. Nineteen sixty two tops AL strikeout leaders. Very good. The excellent four. It's a pretty cool card right there. Got a nineteen eighty one tops Nolan Ryan. Excellent to mint six. So obviously once you get to the vintage stuff, you know, that's where the grades aren't gonna be as high. But that doesn't mean that they're not beautiful cards. They're not well taken care of and in good shape. It's just it's gonna be Pretty tough to get a gem mint on the olders. Love these Topps Archives uh, 59 bazookas. Here's a Mike Trout gem mint 10. These cards are outstanding. I got a few of them graded uh, a couple submissions ago. They're they're awesome. Here's the Bryce Harper gem mint 10. Just awesome cards. They have some auto versions of those too that I would love to pick up a few of them. It's another Gem Mint 10 for Kelvin. 2014 Topps Chrome Mike Evans. Very nice. That's the uh, Blue Wave. I think that, I guess it isn't numbered, but cool card. A 1979 Topps Earl Campbell Near Mint 7. Trying to go semi quickly. I've done a lot of these reveal videos, done them with PSA DNA and also grading and. Uh, it's really easy to make them like a half hour long, so I'm trying to keep this under 20 minutes if possible. So 2013 Topps Chrome Tom Brady White Jersey Gem Mint 10. Did really well with your Brady stuff. 1993 Finest Michael Jordan Mint 9. Nice card. If you guys notice any sort of issues with labeling or anything like that, please let me know as soon as possible. 1990 Classic NL Hit Kings, Will Clark, Tony Gwynn, Gem Mint 10. So your classic cards coming back as uh, as serious winners here. Aaron Judge, 2017 Tops, Gem Mint 10. Kelvin's got three left here. He's got a 2013 Tops Bryce Harper, Gem Mint 10. Sweet card. He's got a 2017 Panini Certified Deshaun Watson Gold Team Gem Mint 10. That is a very nice card. It's a shame Watson got hurt. Um, I haven't followed his stuff, but uh, I would think uh, December, people buying Christmas gifts and him being hurt, I think it'd be a good time to pick up some of his stuff. And here's how we go out. A 1993 Classic Best Derek Jeter Gem Mint 10. Absolutely outstanding looking card. That is awesome. 93 Classic Jeter, Gem Mint 10. So, Kelvin, congratulations. You did real well. I'll get these out to you tomorrow. I will be sending all you guys messages. And uh, and we continue on to my cards. So, I submitted 51. And I got to admit, guys, I'm starting to get self-conscious here. I've done unbelievably well. Whether I was submitting with Mike at Eastern Connecticut or myself now. I've been hitting tens left and right. Granted, um, they're modern cards. They're all new cards. I do have an upcoming order that has a few more uh, things from like the 90s and early 2000s. So I, my expectations are lower for them. Either way, I submitted 51 cards. All 51 came back PSA Gem Mint 10. So that's unbelievable. I am very picky. Uh, the last batch I sent out, I was a little less picky because I just said to myself, I must be throwing tens back in the box. So I will show you what I got. The majority of it is Topps Chrome. There's a little stack of Topps now and maybe a few others. So let's jump into them. First up here is a 2017 Topps Heritage Ian Happ. I believe this is from Topps Update or Heritage Update. Got a PSA Gem Mint 10 on that one. You know, Hap has a chance to be a really good player, so I did take a chance with some of the Chrome rookies and uh, the refractors, the color refractors of guys who I think, you know, have a shot to make an impact, maybe someone you could turn around next year uh, should they get off to a hot start. So let's jump into the Chrome. We got a Judge Freshman Flash insert, nice card, Gem 10. We got a Cody Bellinger Freshman Flash Gem 10. You actually have a second one of those as well. 
So a lot of this stuff will be kept in the collection. Others will be sold off. Uh, when you get this much stuff graded and when you collect so many things, you do have to turn some of it over to uh, just replenish the um, spending money to uh, continue adding to the collection. So this is a No Hat Green Refractor Parallel of Clayton Kershaw. Gem 10. This is numbered to 99. So nice one there. We got a purple refractor of Bryce Harper. Gem 10. I think that one is $2.99. I guess I can look at it. Yep, $2.99. Got an X Fractor of Chris Sale, Gem Mint 10. Love the X Fractors. They look awesome. Like them a lot more than the Prisms. So cool one there. Giancarlo Stanton. Gem Mint 10 Prism. Still not traded as of the recording of this video, but sounds like he certainly will be soon. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens with him in the hobby uh, once he's on a team that is, you know, trying to compete that I'm sure will be getting more attention than the Marlins. Here's a uh, 87 Tops parallel insert, whatever you call it. Yon Mankata, Gem 10. Like the 87s in both base tops and chrome. It's a Christian Arroyo rookie card refractor gem 10. I actually just saw something about him potentially being in a Stanton trade. So be interesting. I think the kid has uh, certainly has some potential if he can, um, you know, get things together. Here's a Judge 87 tops gem 10. I don't, I guess I don't really need to say gem 10 for all of them. Josh Bell, this is the refractor. Jim Mint 10. His stuff doesn't go for a whole lot, but the guy had a heck of a rookie year, so certainly has uh, the ability to uh, kind of continue to play well. Trey Mancini also had a really good rookie year. Uh, doesn't get a ton of attention. This is a refractor, Gem 10. Got a Mike Trout refractor. That's pretty cool. Gem 10. Mancini base. Gem 10. Tyler Austin took a shot on a few of these. I think when I sent these in, um, well, I guess this was September, but uh, at one point this year, it looked like he was going to get a chance to play due to some injuries, and then he got hurt himself again. So, took a shot with a few of them that came back 10s. You know, you have a guy in New York, he gets off to a hot start next year. You know, we'll see. Andrew Benatendi, Gem 10. Gainsby Swanson, who actually played well late in the year. Hopefully he rides that off to a hot start in Atlanta this year. Alex Bregman. You would think his hobby would uh, continue to rise a little bit. Guy had a pretty good rookie year and really showed something. Uh, certainly made me a believer during the World Series. Guy's a good player, you know. How good will he be statistically in the future? Who knows? But, I mean, the guy can field. He can hit. Clutch hitting. Cody Bellinger, who did not have a great World Series, but kid's still 21. Had an awesome first year. So, got one and two of his base cards. Gem 10s. Aaron Judge. Gem 10. Got a negative refractor of Trey Mancini. Gem 10. Probably hold most of these till April because baseball stuff's just so down right now. There's a Mancini base and another Mancini base and another Mancini base. Guess it's inventory for April. Got a Benatendi refractor, nice gem 10. Probably keep that one in the PC, big Benatendi guy. Got a pink Dansby Swanson. Got a, probably going to have a run of pinks here. It's a Corey Seager. Got a few uh, Josh Bells. Opened a good amount of retail, as you can tell. And Josh Bell number three pink refractor, Gem 10. Got a pink Benatendi. A pink Trey Mancini. Another pink Trey Mancini. Got a Mancata pink. 
and another Mankata pink. So, a lot of pink refractors and still a few more to go. Mr. Chris Bryant, Gem 10. And Chris Bryant, number two, Gem 10. I can't tell you how many countless hours I spent looking at cards, though, to uh, decide whether they were worth sending in or not. So, I guess you got to ask yourself, what is worth it? Here's a uh, pink Bregman 10 and another pink Bregman 10. And I believe that is the end of the Topps Chrome. The rest are just Topps Now cards. These are all Reese Hoskins. Uh, when Hoskins was on his run, they were making a Hoskins every other night, it seemed, in Topps Now. Bought a bunch of them. Uh, took a look at some of them, sent them in, and did well with them. So we got uh, this one here. That is a Gem 10. It's from August 26th. And a second one. Hopefully Hoskins, you know, has a uh, solid year next year. We'll see. It's from August 27th. That's from that Players Weekend. I wasn't a fan of those uniforms. I thought they were a little silly, but, you know, whatever. If it promotes the game in any sort of positive way, why not? Here's a nice one here. This is from the 24th of August. Gem 10. This is from August 25th. And August 25th again. And then coming up here, this is actually his first Tops Now card. So it's sort of his first, you know, major league card. Even though they don't consider it a rookie, they call it a call-up card. So his rookie stuff, his official rookie cards will be in 2018 Tops and all those products. So got a gem 10 on this. At one point, these were going for 20 bucks a piece raw. So I don't know what, you know, kind of potential they have uh, being slabbed. I'm sure there's not a lot of them out there yet. So, you know, they probably have a little bit of value. But it all depends on how he performs next year. If he hits, you know, 180 in April, his stuff will be down. And if he clobbers the ball again, his stuff will be back up. So this is the last one here. Three like this. Another PSA Gem 10. So... Again, I did really well. Had uh, 51 PSA 10s, so I'm very happy about that. Kelvin, um, Jay, you guys, Danny, all did pretty well as well. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys joining. Um, please continue to check out the channel. Like I said, I will have some uh, another PSA reveal video coming up in the middle of the week. Uh, maybe like Thursday or Friday, something like that. So... Can't wait to see what we get. I haven't seen those grades or anything like that. So I'm hoping to do really well. I'll reveal that for you. Of course, I'll be back with box breaks, TTM videos, mail days, all that, all those sort of things. But check out the guys who submit it. Check out the group. And I will talk to you guys next time. Have a great one.